Using foil with the wizard and Spellbinder's die templates opens the door to creating an incredible number of unique effects for all sorts of projects. We're going to start out by cutting out a Spellbinder's die template. We've chosen the flower and we're going to place this on the Spellbinder's magnetic mat. And then I'm going to take some foil and I'm going to use the blue side. It has two sides, blue and silver. I would like my project to feature the blue, so that's the side I want to place down. I'm going to cut this out using my white mat. I'm going to start with the handle of the wizard toward me. I'm going to reach around, roll the rollers, walk it through. First pass through, it's going to cut my shape. Now if you like how beautiful this is, you can incorporate this right into your project or you can take it to the next level. What I'm going to show you now is how to use a Spellbinders Impressibility along with the die template that I just cut out and we're going to put this really pretty pattern right on the die cut itself. Okay, so we're going to take the magnetic plate away because we're finished with it. And I'm actually going to leave this die right in the die template. So the die cut stays right in the die. Place my impressibility down. Place the whole die and the piece that's cut out onto the mat. Take your tan embossing mat. And this is going to emboss that pretty pattern right into the die cut. Start with the handle of the wizard toward me, roll the rollers, walk it through. This is a great effect and it's really, really super fast and easy. Now if we want to kick it up a notch, you can actually see how beautiful the detail on this is. I'm actually going to pop this off there now. And now we're going to sand. So you're just going to take a sanding block and rub it across the foil and it gives a very unique and customized effect to whatever it is that you're creating. So there you can see how beautiful the detail is with the Spellbinders Impressibility. Now if you have an ordinary charm, it's totally easy to replicate charms. You just lay your charm down and depending on the thickness of your charm, you would use your white mat. If it was a thicker charm, you would go ahead and use the Spellbinders Blue Charm Embossing Kit. But I happen to know that this thickness of a charm works fine with the two mats. So I'm going to choose some copper colored foil this time. And we're going to place it color side down. We're going to again use our tan embossing mat and the white mat on top. And we're going to run this through the wizard. And we're going to replicate this charm. This is a great technique because this shows you that you can get several charms and keep them rather than use them all up and just keep replicating them in any color or cardstock that you like. And here you can see the silver side. If I turn it over, I've got the copper side, which is the deboss side, and I go ahead and sand it. Then I would just trim it out with some scissors and I would have this great effect for a scrapbook page or a card.